Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Lee Jun Ho and Lee Se Young. Okay, so we're going to have what's going on between the two of them here in the tarot cards. I'm going to do a nine nine card spread here. Okay, and let's see what comes up for their energy. This looks like a happy time here. Celebration. Everything's going well. Somebody wants to invest in something here. With the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. So this is kind of learning to cope through something. And something's coming to light here. Somebody's walking away from something here using their intuition. What else can you tell me? Okay, so they don't have their boundaries up here. They're needing to increase their boundaries. The Seven of Wands in reverse, I'm kind of feeling that not trusting self, kind of having someone be able to talk them into something else instead of going within and trusting that whatever their intuition is telling them is true. So let's see what the energy is for Lee Jun Ho. Okay, let's look. We got quite a bit here. Oh, wanting to retreat, maybe met some, well, there's a new love that's from the past, like a past relationship. Um, in a past life could be somebody just from his past in this life and he's learned how to love self first so this is bringing this new love in here what about Lee Se Young what's going on with Lee Se Young Ah, there might be chemistry here for someone that she might be with or has met. Let's see, what else do we have for her? Ah, releasing her ex. Okay, so she might be in a uh, transition here, wait, waiting for somebody. Somebody's worth waiting for. There may be children involved in this with the, her person or it could just be siblings could be whoever's in the family oh there's wedding here hmm okay what's on the bottom of the deck okay so there is unrequited love here in one of these relationships I'm kind of feeling here. Let's crack the deck. Calling in their soulmate. Okay. Huh. This may be releasing this ex for Li Seyang. It could have been him. Li Jun Ho. So, who's the wedding for? Tell me about the wedding. Who's the wedding for? Oh, somebody's not taking the offer. Now, with the King of Cups in reverse, this is kind of... Maybe can't cope with something here. Overwhelmed or anxious, withdrawn about something. Hmm. Things are getting better though. They're in a positive swing. So let's see what the after tarot has to say. Let's look at the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a message being received here or, yeah, received. Ships are coming in here. The Three of Wands. This is troubles that are ending or some disappointments that have happened. 
but this is ending. They're celebrating something here. Three, three is here. What's the sun? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles is not taking an offer here. Something may have come to light about an offer. What is the investing? Mm. Taking the time to invest in a good decision possibly here. Mm, the King of Wands is in reverse now. There's two sides of this person. There's the darker side with the invert here and then we have the upright. What's the Nine of Swords? Yeah, somebody doesn't want to work on something here. What's the moon? Yeah, everything's going to shit. There's, it's all backfiring or I'm getting... But the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that's kind of like um, a delay or some bad luck, some repeating cycle. It's kind of just unable to cope, unable to adapt. I've seen that three times in this. Somebody is not willing to do this. It's, oh, somebody's healing. They're maybe going on that retreat to uh, learn about self. What is the in, um, intuition with the high priestess? Okay, this is a king of swords in the reverse. This is sort of like that real control freak, kind of very controlling and can be cold, ruthless, and manipulative, kind of like a dictator. What is the Seven of Wands? Hmm. Seven of Wands in the upright now. This is somebody having that position of advantage, the upper hand above everyone else. This is somebody's winning something here. It's kind of like against all odds. It's overcoming some type of challenge. It may have to do with this wedding. It may be really hard. I, I almost feel like this may not be his new love, but possibly somebody here that he's thinking about that they might end up getting married. Somebody's not willing to adapt to someone having a new love or getting married here. What's the wedding? What's the after? Oh, there's going to be some type of truth here. What about the new love? Can we find out about the new love? Mm, somebody's not having a lot of courage when it comes to this new love. Now, whether this is... This is June Ho not having the strength to move forward with something here. What's what's the children in chemistry? Oh, this is something that's maybe coming to light. Maybe she didn't know about this wedding. It may not be a reciprocated energy. She may be still holding on to her ex. She may be thinking about having children with her ex or hmm. let's look at what the intentions are here. What is the intention for June Ho? For June Ho? Ooh, this could be a twin flame doing that self-love and the relationship evolving here for June Ho. What about Lee Se Young? What about her? Oh, paradise, happiness, expanding, enjoying each other. Going and meeting up with somebody, savoring the moment, friendship. Might be their friendship. There might be meeting up and talking about this new love 
or their journeys. Heartbroken. Okay, so somebody's feeling lost, grieving, mourning about a breakup or some type of separation here. And it could be because she's released her ex. What's the combined energy? Ooh, love call. Someone expresses a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I'm kind of wondering if that has to do with that wedding. What's the intention of, of with the love call? Oh, this is this is um, ten of pentacles. This is huge. This is like the end all be all. This is all about having that family life. This is about maybe inheriting property or inheriting something. Having a strong foundation. Kind of that emotional harmony here. That generational wealth maybe this person's thinking about having children liking the idea of having children makes her happy perhaps somebody's not ready for this what's the children about oh, she's being patient to wait here very in the flow and at peace I don't feel like it's an emergency or anything. I feel like it's it's a thought or want, but at the right time, I kind of feel with the temperance there. And that temperance energy is that Sagittarius, that harmony, peace, being grounded. What's the heartbroken here? No, doesn't want to end something, but doesn't want to miss an opportunity. And maybe a little codependent here with the Empress in the reverse. So she may need to work on self here instead of focusing on someone else. Let's see what the lessons are here for Lee Jun Ho. Okay, focus on love, look for the good in everyone. So maybe focusing loving self, I'm kind of getting with the number six here. This is cooperating and harmony, sure, but maybe restoring love in self. Let's see, what else do we have? Be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. So she might show that she really does care about somebody here. Maybe the ex or Lee Jun Ho. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. And this is Ascended Masters with number 22. So this could be something that is... I kind of feel behind the scenes like there's a connection here, but nobody's acting on the connection. They know it exists, but not willing to maybe risk this connection not able to adapt to something here or feeling it's I kind of feel like with that how do I put that that it's so hard to to kind of explain just that uh, that yeah, just unable to adapt to something. Not maybe not wanting to put themselves into something here. Huh. I kind of feel like this is releasing the ex here. This maybe saw a different side of him here. Trying to invest in a decision on what she was going to do. Maybe got a message about something here and is refusing to have an offer here or or releasing her ex here. Even though there was chemistry between the two, putting that decision, investing in that decision because it, it, it does affect her future. And I feel like seeing two sides of maybe her ex not wanting to work this out with the, was it ten of, nine of nine of swords? that I kind of feel like is 
learning to cope but not doing anything about it not learning the lesson just learning to cope with whoever was there and realizing that this was just a bad cycle this wheel of fortune in reverse and it was kind of like a controlling love here or life out of control something about unable to adapt too many too much controlling healing something here going she's, she is going to start that healing i feel like she may be already in the dark night of the soul maybe retreating to do this but she may want to talk with somebody so he may be one to look at when it comes to loving yourself first and I feel like with this king of swords here this may be quite a few people that are kind of manipulative in her energy this may be someone else coming in There is some truth here about something doing with a love call. Having those, that position of, yeah, kind of like that advantage or learning the lesson I'm getting here. With the seven of wands in reverse, I'm kind of getting that this is against all odds and these are overcoming these challenges being in that position possibly where she's learning something here let's see what he is learning june ho has learned here because she's there's more than meets the eye when it comes to maybe june ho here let's see i kind of feel like it's when she's released somebody he meets somebody new and now he's with somebody and she's not and then maybe he's let someone go and she meets somebody so they're never at a time where they're both single and it's kind of that twin flame here twin flamish now whether this is the twin flame with her or this new person let's see what he has here treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so definitely taking that on get to know each other learn to meet others needs for love so maybe not meeting someone's needs for love here this is number 44 this is ascended master saying this what else do we have here this is number 10 and this may be treasure loved ones it's important to love others deeply and possibly didn't show that love enough to this other person let's see be in the present and dream of the future so maybe looking back too much at the past when we dream everything is possible this is about stability with number four here okay so let's put that there what's the combined energy that we have like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving so okay so this is kind of reminded me of that twin flame kind of energy between these two now not all twin flames come together right so but they could have something very beautiful here but neither one seems to want to I almost feel like they don't want to wreck what they have as a friendship let's see what the actions are towards each other yeah somebody is all about having family traditions setting boundaries this is belonging and having the roots this is number four this is about stability this is king of hearts which is king of cups here and with the king of cups that's being that emotionally balanced that somebody's looking for i feel like it's june um lee se young okay it's looking for that stability i'm feeling maybe buying her own place 
maybe renting somewhere. Let's see. Very comfortable anyway. Feeling safe. What about Lee Se Young here for actions? What is Lee Se Young going to do for actions here? All right. Yeah, that broken heart, uh, sorrow, grief, sadness, mourning. And we already had broken heart here about an ending. She may not have wanted to end it, but there's an opportunity here. But there's some codependency possibly with her ex, or it could be with her. She's kind of in a funk here. She may have been let down. She may have been hurt or unhappy. Emotional pain. And this is um, Gemini energy, which to me is the twins with that twin flame. And number three, which is all about that growth. So she may be having some growth about being true to herself about who she wants or what she's doing. Let's see here. Child. Yeah, beginning. Innocence. Brand new. A girl. New perspective. Spontaneous. Cre creativity. I feel like she is thinking about children for her future. We have the Jack of Spades, which is the Jack of Swords. So she may be paying attention here. This, this is the page, yeah. Maybe wanting to communicate a message here. Maybe very curious about something. Looking for useful information about somebody. Maybe asking Lee Jun Ho if he wants children down the road. So let's see. Yeah, it has to do about a man. A person she knows, a boyfriend, a fiance, a spouse, a love interest, a masculine energy. And it's number 10 with the Ace of Hearts, which is the Ace of Cups. Maybe wanting that new relationship, emotional awakening, love and intimacy here. But with the number 10 here, I feel like she may not be able to have that. There's something stopping these two from coming together here now whether it's to work or I, I keep getting they don't want to ruin that friendship they work together they must have worked together I kind of feel like it's let's see about his side here I don't want to go too long with these let's see what about Lee Jun Ho Clover, luck, happy, coincident, unexpected rendezvous, a fling, good fortune, a reward, short-lived. So maybe this new love is short-lived here. Let's see, what's the six of diamonds, which is the six of cups? Now that is being sentimental, that past energy. So he may be thinking about somebody from his past. We have an aha moment here, a discovery or breakthrough, an epiphany, intellect or invention. I feel like he's realizing something here. Maybe they're realizing this is um, this. I almost feel like there's a charge of energy here between the two of them. Let's see. Mm. So he may not want to be weighed down. There may be some codependence that he's not looking for. Like this is stuff that he would feel trapped under or restricted by. He doesn't want an unhappy marriage or emotional baggage. He may be dealing with those things right now with the dark night of the soul. I kind of get that with this card. He's taking action to resolve some things, possibly to do his self-worth. Yeah, I feel like he the ball and chain and that's maybe doesn't want to get married, maybe doesn't want to have children. You may not want the same things that she wants. What's the common thing be between the two of them? <laughs> yeah, stork. So this may be about not wanting to have a pregnancy or birth here. Maybe um doesn't want 
to have children um, or move somewhere may want to renew something here or transform or change something between them but I feel like there's still something stopping them and maybe it has to do with what they want from one another and what somebody doesn't want and it could be down to children we have the Queen of Hearts here which is the Queen of Cups and that's being emotionally connective, but that's that intuitive, compassion, loving, nurturing, sensitive and tender hearted type of energy, that mummy energy, that sweetheart energy that you would give to a child. So hmm, let's look at the outcome of what is going on here. What's going on here for Lee Se Young and Jun Ho, Lee Jun Ho. What is going on for their outcome right now? What's the outcome for these two? The outcome. <laughs> well, we do have courtship here with stability here. So they may have wanted to date here. They have a, a connection here that that energy that complements one each other, one another when they're together there's that synergy or i don't know it's kind of wow courtship and marriage marriage is there with a main female hmm so somebody in this in but between these two, somebody wants to court the other, marry them, and it's, I feel like it's him thinking about her, wanting to do these things. Now, we have two, three, four here. Let's see about her. Somebody's in despair with number five. Because of their occupation, yeah, they work together, they do something together here that very worried that if they do cross that line they can't go back to what it was before and because they work with one another or possibly will down the road I feel like because the occupation is there yeah because they rely on this income coming in and if this gets ruined if they it might really make it hard to have that connection show up in, I almost feel like they do acting or singing or something like that, where the two of them come together, their energy is quite vibrant with each other and it shows on camera. This would affect their income. They're not willing to cross that line when it comes to marriage, although they they really do feel like they would be happy with one another. What's the common thread between the two? Wow, sudden wealth. Yeah, there's, and that they would have generational wealth. There would be love here. But I feel like it's just one-sided. Um, the other one isn't really willing to give up something here, this friendship. And I feel like children play a part in this. Maybe he wants children and she doesn't, or she does and he doesn't, or they one wants to wait longer than the other. Something to do with that. There is this would really hit off really well, but I think they're looking at from what I can see here, they're looking at their wealth, their income. If they were to go through with this if anything happened it could ruin their whole occupation of what they're doing and have an impact on their their money coming in and they may send money home for people or looking after elderly people in their life there i feel like there's demands or things that are weighing on them that they have to pay attention to where they may not be able to take that risk 
let's have a look here. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is the truth, Spirit says. There's, there's truth to this. So they're not really wanting to take this leap of faith or willing to take the risk for this. Let's see what their intuition is kind of telling them. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah, it has to do with working. The intuition is about working. Their intuition is telling them about how this would affect things. Um, that they're looking at their work here. One is willing to fight for this, but I feel like the other one is not willing to when it comes to this. Let's see what after Tarot has to say. What about this Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, somebody has a lot of anxiety. The other one is saying, now whether it's Lee Jun Ho that's trying to comfort her, or it's her comforting him, somebody here is saying, I can help you with the anxiety. We don't have to have that anxiety. There's things we can, we can overcome this challenge. And I'd fight for this with you. And, wow, ten of swords in reverse here. Okay, wow. So, this is all about some lesson being learned here. Maybe learning that some things are worth fighting for. But let's see. Yeah, somebody else thinks this is too much of a burden to put on their relationship. Not wanting to carry all those other wands, just wanting to carry their own. Maybe too much for one of them here to put it all to risk, even though there may be love here. Yeah, someone does express their love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And I feel like this not just... <laughs> There's that runner chaser type of dynamic here and someone here is pretty codependent. So until until this healing process is over and loving self here for her, I feel like he's already started loving self first. I feel like they kind of help one another with that. Now, I do want to find out are they going to work together again? Let's see. Are they going to work again together? Will they work again together? Let's see. The Three of Swords in reverse. This is healing, forgiving, and letting go. And I kind of feel like whatever's going on here... They might be kind of having not an argument or anything. I feel like it's more just talking about the future together. And I feel like it's kind of double-edged sword here with one of them. They're, they're willing to forgive this. They're willing to look past this. They're, look, they're looking to overcome this, this love. I almost feel like trying to put it at, at behind them as if it didn't exist. Let's see, are they going... I feel like somebody's saying here that they will forgive and forget if things go bad between them, that they'd still be able to work together, but one is not so sure about that, so let's just see... Are they going to work together here? Now this one's poking me here. All right. I feel like somebody might be a Capricorn, but they, they may almost feel very tempted in the energy to that temptation to go there because of the love between them or maybe not wanting to have it be real. It's it's about acting. It's just acting. It, 
it's there's desire here but there's desire to do this but will they okay so somebody maybe took a break from this or is planning to take a break they don't I don't feel like they may not be able to see eye to eye on this and that might be kind of putting off the other and I kind of feel like it's well with the eight of cups that's kind of abandonment type of uh, or an emotional setback here more I feel like trying to escape this one's being disappointed in any case one's disappointed that the other doesn't want to take this chance there there may just be another uh, time that they're going to act together they may take that leap of faith even though there's things between them but I don't feel like they, they I don't I'm not so sure they're gonna get married though I feel like that's too much of a risk still too much too risky so they're not coming together in love but they may I work again together because they're not putting this relationship at risk this friendship they're at they're just acting is what I'm getting <laughs> I don't know if they are actors or singers or whatever but it's putting on a show so whatever that means for them for their occupation is kind of what I'm getting here Anyhow, that's what I have so far, um, but it does look like they will act again together if they haven't already, or will be down the road, because this is past, present, or future for these messages. So, you guys know better than I will about this, I just read the cards and what it tells me is going to happen, or has happened. So, anyways share like and subscribe become part of the tribe with the Christie's divine design tarot and the divine oracle tribe so yeah all right you guys take care stay blessed we'll see you next time Nita.